Hey everybody and welcome to this month's tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hedeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And uh, this month's video is going to be about drawing rule sets, uh, what they are, how they work, and how you can create your own. Um, so your drawing rule sets are going to be found in your master drawing catalog. Now I am in the US Imperial environment, so my localization settings are going to have some uh, presets in here that yours may not have if you're not using the US environment, but the, bit, the general idea still applies. You can still make your own and, and create your own using these uh, steps. So first off, in the US environment, we do have some of these uh, icons with a red star, and that red star indicates that this is a rule set. Now, what does that mean? Um, if we look at traditional drawing creation where you select an object and then you select the drawing setting you want to use, you know, that's great when you're creating one object at a time or one type at a time. Uh, but the rule sets allow you to create many different object and drawing uh, types at once. And it does that through a collection of selection filters and drawing settings. Um, so in the US environment, you're going to have a bunch of out-of-the-box selection filters here, things like steel beam, steel column, steel brace, and so on, and what that allows me to do is simply select the model and only grab objects of that type. And then the rule set will pair that selection filter with a particular drawing setting. So if we were to look at one of these, and I go ahead and uh, open up its properties real quick, just so we can get an idea of what's actually happening with this thing, uh, you can see here that it says I'm using an object group, and an object group in Tecla is just another term for a filter. An object group called steel anchor rod, and it's pairing it with the anchor bolt drawing settings. And then the same thing happens with the column filter and drawing settings, the beam filter and drawing settings, so on and so forth. Now this does work from the top down, so it's going to do the anchor rods first, then the columns, then the beams. And at the bottom you can see we have a catch-all here just called primary and not found. And what that's going to do is create a drawing for anything that it can't identify by using these default filters. So what this allows me to do is say grab a, uh, let me turn off my filter down here at the bottom. It allows me to grab things like a column, a brace, and a beam, and when I run this, it's going to go ahead and pair automatically column drawing settings with columns, beam drawing settings with beams, and brace drawing settings with braces. And if I go ahead and open up my uh, document manager here, we'll be able to see how you can see, you know, I have an HSS drawing, a beam drawing, and a column drawing. So you can modify the existing ones, but I want to show you how you can go ahead and create one from scratch and create your own. So, in your master drawing catalog, if you come in here and click on this icon to define a rule set, this is going to give me the option to set up what type. What type of drawings am I going to create here? Am I creating single part drawings? Am I creating assembly drawings? Am I creating cast unit drawings? So let's say I'm creating assembly drawings, right? I'll say next. And then it wants me to go ahead and add some filters and add some drawing properties. Now normally I would only do this if I had my own filters already set up and my own drawing properties already saved away. So let's just assume that you have those. I'm just going to remake something using the default settings, but hopefully this will give you the idea on what you can do. I'll come in here and I'm going to click Add Group, and then I can click the drop down menu to choose from the list of selection filters that I have. So this, if you have company specific uh, selection filters, you can just choose yours. I'll say let's do the steel beams, and then I can select the drawing settings that I want. In this case, scrolling through until I find the uh, steel beam with BOM drawing setting. And then you can just keep going. I'm going to hit Add Group choose another setting, let's say steel channel, and then I'll do the channel drawing settings. And like I said, I'm just reusing the stuff that's in the out of the box environment, but you can be creating these with your filters and your drawing settings because you're going to have specific names for the way you do things and you're going to have your own custom drawing settings for the way you do things. So once you come in here and you build this up to the point where you're like, yes, it's going to, you know, cover most of the stuff that we do, this is going to allow you to very, very quickly make your drawings using these tools. So that way you don't have to choose one at a time, you know, use these uh, drawing settings on this selected object. So now that I've built that, I'm going to come in here and save this as my rule set. And then you can give it a description and keywords if you like. You can give it a preview image. I'm just going to go ahead and say finish. But in here now, if I scroll down, 
you can see there's this new my rule set option and this is going to allow me to come in here and do what I did a second ago I can grab one of the um, objects in this stair I can grab a column I can grab a beam and then when I run this rule set it's going to create drawings of those objects based on the filters based on the drawing settings that I've chosen so this allows you to very quickly customize and you know how Tecla is going to create things and create them very very quickly um, you know being able to do this and speed up how fast you can make your sheets based on your settings is obviously help out with your productivity so that's just kind of a quick one this month I hope you find this helpful um, it, it's come up more than once in recent days you know we always want to know better ways to be creating drawings faster ways to creating drawings so here's just a quick one uh, if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them below uh, as always I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time